is a CBS News special report. I'm Nora O'Donnell in our nation's capital, and we have breaking news from the United Kingdom, where we have just learned the sad news that Queen Elizabeth II, the longest serving British monarch, died today at Balmoral Castle, that is her summer home in Scotland. Her Majesty was 96 years old and had spent a record 70 years on the throne. We want to show you live pictures from Buckingham Palace, her home for decades. We just received the news from the royal family. They sent out a statement saying the queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The king and the queen consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Thus referring to Prince Charles now as the king of England. It was just early this morning that here in the U.S. that Buckingham Palace announced that the Queen was under medical supervision and all morning long. We have been waiting for word, watching as the Queen's children, grandchildren, other members of the royal family rushed to be with her at her side at the end. We want to show you these shots of the royal family arriving at Aberdeen Airport in Scotland. This, of course, first of all, the flag at half-staff. This is the, the plane that arrived earlier this morning. And then we saw Prince William arrive at Balmoral with his uncles, Princes Andrew and Edward. There they are in the car together. This, of course, a watershed moment, not just for the British people, but the world. And, you know, in England, many people have not really known any other monarch because she reigned for so long. She reigned over a rapidly changing country in the last days of a once vast empire. And through it all, many people say that the queen ruled with a steady hand and quite a devotion to the British people, always talking about her service to the nation. And her oldest son, Prince Charles, succeeds her now as Britain's new king.